Hey guys, so right now I'm going to be showing you a little bit about manual mode on a Canon camera. Of course, um, all the functions uh, will be on your camera, um, assuming it's a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. Um, and some point and shoots have this as well. As well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to find the M or the, yeah, just the M or maybe it'll say M1. Uh, and that means manual. So with the manual, you'll be able to control the three things that we talked about in our lecture, which is shutter speed, aperture, and um, ISO. So once you've navigated to M, I'll just turn this on, you'll see um, three things. So this is the shutter speed, this is the aperture, and this is the ISO. On a Canon camera, you change the shutter speed by this thing right here, this thing that goes up and down. So um, so uh, a faster shutter speed, as you see here, will um, have the have the shutter fire faster. And I'm going to show you guys what I meant by that in the lecture. Um, as I take this off, um, I need to I'm take the lens off. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to take the lens off, and I'm going to show you what it means. So this is the fast shutter speed. Do you see how fast the shutter is firing there? Um, that which this is the sensor, this is the shutter. So that would be a fast shutter speed. Now if I turn it the other way to go to a slower shutter speed, so let's say a one second shutter speed. This would be for really light, low light and using a tripod. So it's you can see it's open for much longer. Um, and that enables you, like I said, to um, put more light into lens in the camera and allow it to be um, more exposed. Um, so one thing that oh, oops, is a little bit hard to explain in the lecture is the light meter. So as you can see right here, this little thing you might be wondering what it is. This is called a light meter and it basically determines slash tells you um, whether your photo is going to be underexposed, overexposed, or what the camera considers to be just right. Um, now, um, you use um, shutter speed, aperture, and ISO to use to get what you want in your photo, but also to um, balance. You need to balance them to make sure that they are um, to make sure they're actually. Uh, going to be it's going to produce an exposed image um, so here what you can do I'm just gonna show you using this is uh, let's say I want to take a photo of what's what's going on outside so I'm gonna take actually let's say I, I want to take a photo of uh, I'm just gonna change the view here so, of course, again, you can see the light meter, the ISO, the aperture, and the shutter speed. So, right now, I can see that because the image is obviously overexposed, and the little arrow here says it's above plus three, it means that the image is going to come out overexposed. So, if I take an image right now, it's going to be a white image because there's too much light being let in. So, in order to curb this, um, what I can do is I can look at my three... Um, three components. So my ISO right now is 100, which is the lowest ISO possible, um, which means that I need to that I need to use either shutter speed or or and or or um, aperture to make uh, it an exposed image because my ISO is already as low as it can be. Sorry, my thing just turned off there. Um, so I'm going to press here to try and increase my aperture. I'm gonna say I want my aperture to be 10 because uh, actually no I you know what I want my aperture to be lower because I'm inside right now I'm taking a photo of my drumstick or my drum kit uh, so I want it to be lower because I want it to be more um, have more detail. So next um, as I can see it's still pretty bright um, now I'm gonna I'm gonna the only thing left to change is my shutter speed. So I'm going to change my shutter speed by going here, by clicking AV, and moving the shutter at the same time. So I'm going to... Oh, sorry, that's the aperture. Whoopsies. 
Uh, I'm still getting to know this camera. So I'm gonna go and change my shutter. So if I put it up, then I'll, I'll notice that uh, it's actually it's actually not helping. So I'm gonna put it down. Oh, there we go. And I'll show you the light meter here if I can get it into focus. So here's my light meter again. So as you can see, it's coming into the image. And as you can see, if I move my shutter speed up, or increasing, have it increase, then my then my light meter also increases. So what I want to do is I want to decrease my shutter speed to 1 1 25th of a second and then I can focus and take my photo. Now as you as you might notice here, um, I like to actually take my images a little bit underexposed so that would be one stop each of these is called a stop, each number is called a stop. So one stop below what zero is. And I like to do this just because um, it's better for editing. It's easier to edit an underexposed image one stop below compared to editing one that is um, overexposed one stop. So I'll take my image. And there we go. I have a pretty decent image and using all three components. Uh, so I have my aperture, um, you can't really see it in focus here, but I've used my aperture to make it so that everything in the image is in focus and has as much detail as possible. And I've used my shutter speed to balance out the insanely bright light I have outside. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if anyone has any uh, questions regarding today's lecture, please feel free to ask me. Uh, yeah.